whether Barrera can make something out of that reach. And again, we see once again, it's the Spence, the southpaw, getting busy early. It opens a lot of opportunities for that straight left or that jab. That feint is going to do one of two things. Or if it's going to open up the left temple of your opponent. And it just happened, as you were talking about it, who threw the jab out and got Spence to react and then just missed it with an uppercut. You know that he'll try to go back to that at that situation. You better get that uppercut in there quickly. But Spence has a world of speed. Spence looks a little more anxious than usual right now. And I don't know if it's being in his hometown turf, a victory over Barretta tonight will be enough to get him in line, but it might open up, an, open up enough eyes very close to being at the top of the card, and all those things come together. But Eda just landed a right uppercut and then falls right afterward, the straight right, both finding their mark on the chin of Earl Spence Jr. Herrera trying to send the message to Spence that this is going to be your hardest fight. Time. Brilliant. Quick shot, and then the uppercut right behind it, both with the right, right hand. Now Spence trying to settle down, lands a good right hook, and he drilled Barrera with that one. He not only settled down, he almost put Barrera down. Yes, I'm still in this fight. Some good toughness there by Barrera. And then he loads up with a big right hand. They'll remember the wobble. Oh, yeah. They get back to that, use the angles. Spence is right on him, and a good right hand by Barrera. He's, oh, big left hand. He was drilled by Spence. But when he's chasing a moving target outside of his range, it's hard to sit down. He tees off. He drills Barrera. Uppercut by Barrera. Saying not so fast. The final few seconds tick off. A signature round for Spence Jr. Good right hook again by Spence. Oh, uppercut by Barrera. The fighter wants to keep, who's pressing the action, wants to keep his lead foot on the outside of his opponents. He's stepping on the left foot of Spence. So as Spence goes to pull back, and it almost snaps him back into place to the range. And as Spence went to pull back, his, his pull is halted, and he ends up right in the range of the punch of Barrera. A big shot from outside, but if they're fast enough, they can get out of the way after they throw an uppercut from too far out. And Spence with a good left hand. And every time he gets hit, every time he gets cracked, he fires back with bad intention. Good left hand by Spence. Barrera, 28 and two. Spence moving and then. Good jab by Spence, uppercut by Barrera, missed and left hand by Spence, got in. Body shot by Spence, loads up on it. There was again the double jab inside, left hook to the body. Tries to wear Pereira down. Spence is most effective working his way in behind that jab. But he also looks more settled in. Pereira did catch him with a couple uppercuts there. Attack was the lunging. That became more fluid as. Good left hand by Spence. He winds him up, and here he comes. Oh, and it was the body shot that put him down in his own corner. Yeah, they're just coming out of no place. Wearing you down. And Spence, methodical, surgical. He has hurt Pereira here. Good right hook by Spence. And Pereira starting to slide into deep water. Still game with an uppercut. Good right hook by Spence. A lot of time left in this round. It was the body shot that dropped Barrera to open that body up again. He's Here going he to go downstairs. And Does you Barrera see Barrera shaking his head? No. Lawrence Cole reads into it and stops this fight. And Errol Spence, Jr.
with an impressive stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, a referee in Tightness charge. of those Lawrence shots. We'll talk more about it in a second. To the contest, one minute, 46 seconds of the fifth round for your winner by technical knockout and remaining perfect. Errol, the truth, Spence Jr.